all right so welcome back to another video here in the technical lab with mr hamilton now for today's join we're gonna be doing the cycloid and for the simplest definition a cycloid just shows the path which a point on the circumference of a circle travels when that circle is put in motion now i'm gonna go ahead and start our join for today and first thing i'm gonna start out with my start line now i'm just gonna go ahead and label this start line x y okay great now the second step is we are going to actually draw our circle and the diameter of that circle is 50 millimeters right now our circle is going to rest directly on our xy line right and the point of our locus is also going to rest directly on that xy line all right so i'm going to go ahead and construct my circle So first I'm going to use my set square to draw a vertical line. Now on this vertical line, I'm going to mark off 25 millimeters, which is half of my diameter, which is the radius of my circle. Next, my compass, I'm going to open my compass to that 25 millimeters. Alright, great. Now, the next step is I'm going to draw some parallel lines to my XY line from the top of the circumference of my circle and the center point of my circle. The next step is we are going to divide our circle into 12 equal parts. Also, I'm going to be dividing the line XY into 12 equal parts to represent the circumference of the circle. Now, remember when we are dividing a circle into 12 equal parts, we set our compass to the radius of the circle then place the compass at each quadrant point and scribe arcs to each side okay nice now the next move we are going to label these parts and then we're going to divide our circle into these equal 12 parts Okay, so next we are going to divide our line, our XY line, into 12 equal parts. Using our compass, I'm going to set my compass to the distance of 1 to 2. Alright, great. Now starting at the 0 mark, or 12. I'm going to scribe my first arc to give me 1 and I'm going to do so going straight along the XY line until I am at 12. 
and 12. So now we have our 12 parts. I'm just going to go ahead and number them. Starting at 1. Alright, great. So now we have our 12 parts marked off on our XY line. Now I'm going to draw in my vertical lines. Also, I'm going to draw in lines, horizontal lines that are parallel to my center line. Alright, now what I want to do is I'm going to label my center as C. I will now proceed to draw in my vertical lines. My vertical lines will be drawn in at each of these points from 1 to 12. Okay, so now that I have all my vertical lines drawn in, my next move will be to label each one of these vertical lines, these points where the vertical lines intercept my center line from C going straight out. I am going to label those points as C1 leading straight up to C12. Now that I have labeled all my points from C1 to C12, I will now proceed to join my locus points. Now bear in mind where I have point 12 or 0, this is also point P. And this represents the point and the circumference of the circle that will be moving along to form our cycloid so that would be this will be our main locus point that will be moving along to form our cycloid now here is the tricky part that is not so tricky actually but at the point c which is the center point of our circle now picture our circle as a wheel the center point will be consistent along this line Okay, but our locus point at P, that's the point that will be moving. All right, now I'm going to set my compass to C, P, which is the radius of our circle. All right, now at C, my compass is directly at the point P, which will be here on my line at point zero now at c1 i'm going to scribe an arc onto line one which gives my first locus point now at c2 i'm going to scribe a line an arc on my line two and i'm going to do the same going right out at c3 I scribe a arc on my line 3. At 4, I scribe an arc on my line 4. At 5, I scribe an arc on my line 5. And at 6, which is halfway, my point is now exactly to the top there on six so i can just 
for clarity i'm going to go right ahead and mark some dots at all of these points so you can see clearer okay now moving along i'm going to place my compass at point seven so that's c7 and i'm going to scribe an arc over to this side at seven place it at eight scribe an arc and line eight nine scribe an arc right there ten scribe an arc eleven scribe an arc and at 12, my point will be now right here at 12. So I'm just going to go ahead and use some dots to brighten these points. Nice. Now that we have all our points, I'm going to go ahead and use my French curve to draw in my cycloid so i'm going to join my curve to represent my cycloid all right great so we completed our cycloid very good um this was a great video looking forward to seeing you guys for the next one until then i'm here mr hamilton in the technical drawing lab